Directionally Challenged Hiker here at the Little House in the Desert. Um, I've been here a little over an hour, edited a video from about a month ago. I am waiting on our 40-yard dumpster to arrive so I can start disposing of some of this stuff. Anyway, I'll just take you for a quick walk around the manufactured home that is, is definitely going and show you a little bit of what I'm hopefully going to be working on today. Um, I'm not planning on doing too much with the manufactured home today. Um, and I think there's some stuff we want to get out of it before we drop it. So, you know, we don't want to drop it and then have to dig stuff out, make it easier to you know, clean it out. Clean it out. Um, before. So anyway, yeah, it is. It is supposed to be beautiful today. Um, it was about 47 degrees when I drove out here just before 8 o'clock in the morning. And it is, I don't know what it is now, but it's going up to about 82. So I'm going to. You know, be getting my workout. Um, I'm hoping to get this stuff moved over to where they're supposed to drop the dumpster. Um, there's some more stuff here. I have to see what all I can move. Pile number one, um, big old stack of one by 12 by tens or something like that. They are heavy. As you'll see here, it's like I start out, had a flannel shirt on because it was a little bit cool in the morning. It said earlier, like 47 degrees and didn't take more than a couple of those boards and I was warmed up. But yeah, later on I, I get a little bit more efficient in moving them but at this point I'm just like I'm dragging them and pretty good workout on the legs backing up trying to drag them they're heavy I think they were part of the original roof on the house and they've just been sitting there so as they used to say in the game shows what's behind door number one in this case it was what would I find under pile number one if I'm not mistaken I didn't find a whole lot under this this pile just just some spiders and you know nothing nothing really nothing really crazy so it took me about 45 minutes to move a dozen of these big boards i'm gonna take a short break from this as they're heavy and my arms are like i don't know noodles but anyway we're gonna walk over here I think I'm going to work on a little bit of raking the weeds in just a minute or two here. I might take a little break, but um, this grass and weed stuff is obnoxious. It keeps getting stuck in my boots and in my socks. So I think we'll, you know, tone it down a bit and do a little bit of that. Let my arms recover. But anyway, so I think you can see I got some of that first pile done. I'd love to get at least this done today. Um, this bad boy here, I don't think I can move him. But we'll see. So put you back on time lapse in a minute or two. Tackling some of the weeds was definitely easier than dragging those one by 12 by whatever's. Um, and it's also kind of amazing that like something simple, like just raking the dried weeds out of the way. Um, it makes it look cleaner. I guess you can actually see some of your progress quickly. You know, you, you clear out the weeds and you still have a huge mess all around, but you can at least look at one area and be like, oh my gosh, that that's, you know, not so bad anymore. 
I'm finding that with a lot of this project because like you do you do some of the little things or you just do small bits and pieces at a time and then you can look back and especially like editing videos it's like oh my gosh we've come a long way since since I was raking weeds in this video here um compared to where we are now it's like it's it's crazy our dumpster just got dropped off about 30 minutes ago I've been chilling a little bit um I'm pretty tired took a hike with a friend yesterday near 12 miles and I'm kind of paying for it today but anyway I should get back to dragging some more wood and working on some more of the weeds in the previous um, clip of my weed raking it's kind of amusing looking back now that I started out like raking them and I'm going to carry them to the burn barrel and it took what two trips maybe and it's like maybe I should just go get the wheelbarrow and you know make my life a little bit easier <laughs> but yeah sometimes it takes a minute for me to think of the easiest way to do something and but getting the weeds out of the way definitely made my life easier in this cleanup process because they really do they stick in you and they're annoying and yeah also helps you know me to see where I'm walking if there's anything crawling around that I should be aware of I mean there are we can have rattlesnakes um I did unearth during this whole cleanup process some decent sized scorpions not the little bark scorpions that um we find at you know our other place but they're they're a little bit bigger uh back to the boards i am employing the wheelbarrow this time um it's, it's kind of crazy though i'm watching myself load them up and it was a little bit more work getting them on the wheelbarrow than it appears in this video because they are heavy so you had to like kind of get them centered otherwise it made it want to tip over and then i'm struggling with there's that little gate that i'm going through and there's some pavers there's some pavers that you know just so that i guess the path didn't get worn when you know both places were being lived in and so it's like you have to hit it right with the front wheel with the wheel the only wheel and bump it up and if you bumped it wrong it wanted to tip the boards off so I get annoyed with that after a while. I can't remember exactly how long it takes. I might actually finish those one by 12 boards, but yeah, it's a little bit of a workout. There we go. Yeah, turn the camera a little bit. But there was a lot of them. I'm not sure how many, I think it was like 24 or something like that when all was said and done. And it is about 1 p.m. this Tuesday, March 1st, and as you can see, I have dealt with those piles of wood in this area. I've hauled them over to um, the front of the dumpster, end of the dumpster with the doors on it, whatever. Um, I think I'm probably going to have my husband help me get those on one of those things that tag team in the lift we'll get them in get them in there a little bit neater I mean stacking them neatly will help us get more in that dumpster uh, as you also can see I did did do a little bit of raking I mean it is not perfect but it's not attacking me quite as much as it was earlier today um, there's a lot of work to be done once we get, you know, trash, building materials, whatever, cleared out. He'll be able to run the tractor around and, um, you know, grade it. Like, this is all going to need grading here when it is gone. Um, again, we have, like, tons of pavers and bricks. I mean, some really cool materials for a... For, for future stuff that we want to do on this property. Um, yeah, I think you've probably caught on in the last couple 
videos that I've done, it 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 did it did acquire a name. Um, my husband has dubbed it the Little House in the Desert, which is appropriate. Um, it is it is little. It it doesn't quite meet the specifications of tiny, especially with the upper level, as the bottom part is 600 square feet and. I think a tiny house is supposed to be under 600 square feet. So we're probably looking at about a little over 800 square feet of living space when we are done. But yeah, that's, that's that pile of wood. I know I just moved it from one place to another, but between the two of us, we should be able to get it in that dumpster this afternoon. But yeah, that thing's like a monster. 40 yard, 40 yard dumpster. Um, we're going to fill it up and my husband's guess is one more. We'll see. But anyway, I'm going to take a break for a little bit. Um, I'm tired. So I'm going to take a break and then we'll see if I get back to some more cleanup this afternoon. On to some 4 by 8 sheets of either OSB or plywood or maybe both. I'm not exactly sure at this point. I don't remember. But yeah, old roofing material. And here, okay, I'm trying to get these, you know, to the dumpster, the most, the easiest route. I went around the manufactured home the one time. I'm like, that is insane. And then I tried to take it through the gate and it barely fit through the gate. And so I went inside and we don't want this fence here anyway. And it was just like kind of tied together with some wiring. So I, I snipped the wiring. You know, I did not snip the fencing. We probably will use that fencing for something else in the future. So I didn't want to wreck it, but I did I did open it up so that I had a a nice, you know, nice wide way to get get those boards, you know, wheel barrowed over to the dumpster. And I think you'll see at a couple points I do actually struggle because the ground has like little holes and pits and whatever in it. So if you hit it if you hit it with that wheel wrong it it wants to dump on you, but it works. And again, time lapse. Time lapse makes stuff look so much easier. I had to like, like pull the board partly part way up onto the wheelbarrow, and then let it kind of tip, and then grab the top of the board, and then pull it back to you know an upright position, and make sure again, make sure they were centered, make sure the board wasn't sticking too far out over the handles because I had to be able to hold the handles to push it. So it was like I figured it out and it worked pretty well, but you know, and again, these boards are just getting dumped outside our dumpster because I can't can't really get them in by myself. It's one of those things that it is it is helpful to have have another person, but he's at work all day. And I was just here waiting for the dumpster and I figured I was gonna get some work done. I ended up spent, I don't know, quite all day out here. I got here, I got there probably about eight o'clock in the morning or something like that because I had no clue when it was gonna be delivered. So it's about 4.15 p.m., still March 1st. And this is the, I guess you'd call it like the little backyard area of our little house in the desert. Um, yeah, there was a wood pile there today, and there no longer is. I'm gonna do a turnaround. No, I didn't get to that pile, but I did. Um, there you go, looking back at it. I think I did make some progress there. Um, raked some of the weeds. Yeah, the grass is still there. It doesn't really rake up. It needs more work, but at least the pokey ones, or most of the pokey ones are gone in this immediate area. And if you recall from the earlier footage, uh, there was a decent sized stack of old roofing plywood there. Um, so I got that on over by the dumpster. Nothing is in the dumpster yet. Um, I am waiting until he gets off work. Probably have about 
half an hour, 40 minutes. I'm gonna finish up this bit of footage here and I'm gonna go take a break and then hopefully when he gets here, the two of us can knock out getting the stuff that I moved today into the dumpster. There's some leveling work to do here too. Oh my goodness, there's some holes and you name it, but that is what the tractor is for. And here is the pile of stuff that was over there. It is now over here. And I just kind of want to see what he wants to load first. Again, we're, we're trying to, you know, not just randomly stop, toss stuff in here. We'd like to get it, you know, we don't want to have to get any more dumpsters out here than we really need to. And I have trouble getting the big pieces in position. Those, those boards right here that I started out with early this morning and this afternoon. Oh my gosh, those were kicking my butt. But anyway, I'm gonna go take a break until he gets here. Still Tuesday, March 1st, near 5 p.m. Um, my husband's off work and we are, I think we're getting ready to load up this and he's thinking maybe the insulation, we'll throw it on the bottom and squish it down really good. So anyway, I'm going to put you all on time lapse again and you can be entertained by this. Insulation I mentioned is actually hidden kind of behind that white cabinet that was on the railroad tie. It was the rest of the insulation that I had to pull out of the upstairs due to due to the birds. Um, I had taken a pickup truck load to the dump a while back. We had it all bagged up and we packed in as much as we could, and there were probably, I don't know, six, seven bags, something like that, that we couldn't fit in the truck. So he wanted them at the bottom of the dumpster because he's like, they're going to squish when we put weight on. I'm like, okay, so he loaded those up, and then we are tag teaming the rest of the stuff here. Just, you know, trying to get in there again, you know, dumpster loading isn't pretty, but you do kind of want to, you know, utilize it as well as you can, you know, not like we don't want to pay for extra dumpsters if we don't need to. So yeah, and you can see the sun is starting to drop. So I spent, it was a long day there. I think I accomplished quite a bit and then probably need to do that again. Just get out there and be there all day, but it's getting hot now as it's it is May 12th. Wow. Anyway, so fairly productive day. Um, dumpster number one. We managed to get that one all loaded up for my March hike. Calling it a day here at the little house in the desert. Um, we got those piles of wood cleaned up. A few things that were from the trailer over here. Anyway, yeah, um, I'm tired, I'm really dirty, I want that hot shower, and I'm kind of hungry, so I'm looking to get some dinner, but that is what we've gotten in there today, and wow, it's not looking as big as it looked when it was dropped off this morning, but later.